shit we do for our videos. Takes time to make quality. If you guys couldn't tell by what I was carrying, I'm bagging my car today. This is the very first mod that I'm doing to this thing. And I'm bagging it because bag life is the good life. And these coilovers on this car are very, very rough. It's funny though, cause I'm just gonna be converting them to bags. My reasoning for that is one, it's a lot cheaper. And two, the coilovers that are on this car have adjustable dampening and they have camber plates. If I would have bought the airlift bags, they would have had the same exact thing as these, but I'd have spent double the money. Could have just gotten the True Heart coil, True Heart bags, but I didn't want to go with the True Heart bags because they do not have adjustable dampening and they do not have adjustable camber plates. So this just made sense. Okay, so Esteban, like always, is going to help me install my bags on my car. Uh, go subscribe to his channel. I'll leave the link in the description. Sorry, I was pulling a hair out of my mouth. Oh, that's okay. This, this is everything I have. Bag riders like destroyed my box, but it's whatever. Tank, the bags and all my wiring, and then I have wood floor because we're gonna try to get my trunk set up done today too. So in this box, we have compressor, my fancy management that you can take a look at. <laughs> Uh, manifold to get it to connect and then just like everything else is just like plumbing stuff like airline fittings my bags two coils so this is what I'm gonna be doing so like I said I'm converting my my coilovers to bags so this is a conversion kit so all I do is this, this is made by Universal Air um, take my spring off get the bag put it over it's a bag um, Shouldn't be too hard, I'm hoping, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. So last time I went with the manual air suspension kit, like you guys saw this time, I actually did go all out and I bought AccuAir management. So to get AccuAir stuff to run, you need two things. This is the, the manifold that they have. And then this is like the cool part. This is the, it's called their ECU E-Connect Plus. So, it comes with everything you need. Like here's the wiring, which is gonna be super easy. The actual like ECU part, and then here's a pressure sensor. But I'm hoping this doesn't take us all day, but it's usually how air goes, so we will see. Why do I always manage to buy the most disgusting cars? So I'm taking everything out of my trunk because we decided we're gonna do the wood first, so then I can mount everything to the wood. Um, but like so it's at least shaped like the trunk we're taking all of this out and the crap i find in these cars that i buy here you go dirty greg no, that's a shirt you want a shirt yeah I'll put it on right now brother i don't know why i touched it <laughs> i don't know why i touched it Okay, so we just finished cutting out the wood. Um, well, I should say he finished cutting out the wood. This is the finished product. It looks really good. Uh, we're gonna see if this fits in the trunk now. Okay, so it's done. It looks really good. Uh, I'm trying to get the best angle. Um, there's a cutout that needs to be over there. So this piece kind of wobbles, this corner piece. And that's the only one that does it. Um, so I'm gonna have to take it out and cut that little spot out. But other than that, that looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, now we can now that we have that we can start mocking up where I'm gonna put everything else We can start wiring everything and hopefully get the management done today Okay, so originally I was gonna put My AccuAir. Okay, this is this is roughly how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna hide the compressor behind it because I don't want it to be seen But originally I was gonna run this where the box for AccuAir and the management the My AccuAir box this ECU because it lights up originally I was gonna run them like that side by side but Esteban told me that he thinks it looks better since this lights up to be the centerpiece. So what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get like an angle and I'm gonna try to run that so it's hanging above this and then I'm gonna have all the lines going to the back. So that's like the rough plan of what we're gonna do. Hopefully we can get this done and we can get it 
and we can get all of this working today so that we don't have as much to do. So I'll pick back up in a minute. Okay, so we're losing daylight quickly. We got the whole tank and everything. It's set up and it's plumbed for the most part. So like, this is how this is gonna sit. Uh, plugged here. This is what's gonna connect to the manifold from the tank, the compressor, plugged, plugged. And then the only other thing I need to get is I need to get like another one. I forgot to buy one to connect to this to cap it so it doesn't leak air. Okay, my thick wiring is ran through the inside. So if you're gonna bag a BRZ, there is a single grommet right there. So you have to pull it out of the way and you can fit it through. So I'm gonna have to trim this plaster, the rubber on this, so it doesn't get water in there. I had that problem with my Z, um, which isn't that bad. But what I think I'm gonna do differently this time is I'm gonna just run the cables up here and I'm gonna put all of like the fuse holders and everything in the trunk. Just so if I ever have to do any work to it, I, ha I can just access everything in the trunk rather than access anything in the hood. So we're gonna get this wired real quick. Okay, so it's gotten dark outside now. It's only six, it's the only thing I hate about this time of year. Um, we ran some of the wiring. I just wanted to see if I can get this to power on and I got it to power on. The coolest thing is this is RGB, like backlit, so it will light up as the focal point in the trunk. Right now it's running software updates. So all I did is I hooked up the positive wire to this uh, fuse, like a distributor box and the negative to it. And then this orange cable connects to the ignition fuse. It wouldn't turn on. And then uh, he found the ignition fuse in the engine bay. So we hooked that up and then it turned right on. So I'm letting it run an update and then I'm gonna see how this whole thing works. Okay guys, so it's day two. Uh, yesterday we got most of the wiring done, but I need to hook the manifold and everything up, but today our main focus, that's not as hard to do. So today our main focus is getting these wheels off, taking the springs off and putting the bags on the coils. So I went, this morning we went to Harbor Freight. We're gonna do it the correct way. And we got cheap spring compressors. Hopefully it does the job. So yeah, we're gonna jack the car up. You, can, you have jack stands, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put it on jack stands. We're gonna take the bag, take the springs off the coils and then we're gonna throw the bags on, lower it, and then I'll be bagged. Okay, so we got the wheels off. Uh, we're currently doing this side. So we're lowering the bolt for the lower control arm right now. And then I got everything out of the trunk. Nice thing about this car is that the bolts are just right here. So I'm just gonna loosen those two bolts and then hopefully the... So I think we're just gonna loosen those two bolts and then hopefully the coil comes out and then we can just take the spring off. We got both back sides checked in. <sighs> okay. Oh wait, where is it? Okay. Okay, first one is out. So it's cool these have upgraded springs. Didn't know that. Um, we're gonna take the other side off and then we're gonna convert it. Okay, we got both of them out. Um, we're gonna start putting those on. He's taking the spring compressors out. So this is all I have. So it's literally just a bag from Universal Air. These are their Aero Sport 2s. And for the rears, these are just like the universal brackets that they come with too. Um, I'll show more on this when I get to it. For right now, we just need to get the springs off so we can actually just throw these on. Uh okay, so change of plans. I'm gonna be the one who compresses the springs and puts the bags on. Um, to get the universal air bags to fit, you have to do a little bit of modification to this part of the wheel well. The bag's hitting here and it rubs right there on the back. So he's gonna cut part of this out and we're gonna hammer that in a little bit just so I can get the clearance I need. Um, but it shouldn't be too terrible. There we go. One spring off. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so we are on day three yesterday. As you can see, I'm back home. Yesterday, Esteban had to leave early, so I had to drive it home. Okay, so now I have these two bolts removed, so it dropped the whole knuckle. I need to remove this brake line, as well as this line, um, as well as this end link, and then everything down here is released, and then I just need to release the top hat, and then I, it should just come right out. As you can tell too, this guy rubbed on everything. Like that's wheel hitting frame. That's not good. So I'm gonna have to look into that too. I shall ordered these brackets off of bag riders and these ones are made specifically for this bag. So what it is, is here's the bottom one. Uh, these are threaded coilover brackets. So this is the top hat bolt, this, or this is the one for the top hat, this is the one for the bottom. As you can see, these are threaded, and this thread pitch is the same that's on my Megan Racing coilovers. So the way this works is this basically just sits like this as a bracket on the bag, and it slides over and it threads on so it doesn't move or anything. So it's a quarter inch thread pitch for this, and then they give you the supplied hardware too, so it's just these threaded bolts that just thread straight into these. So I'm gonna put, go ahead and put the fitting on and then put the brackets on and then I'll put the whole coil over together. Okay, so two hours have gone by. I didn't think that was gonna be as hard as it was. That was the biggest pain in my butt so far with this. Um, so here's one of them. The other one's over there. I still need to put the top hat bolt back on. Difficult is because this was the only plate that worked. The top plate didn't work since these have like, excuse me. Since these coils already have like their own top hat bushing or mount, so I had to use that. Tighten it. I'm gonna tighten this a little more just to make sure it's good. Um, and then not only that, this one was giving me a ton of issues. It was like, it was lower, so I had to make them a little taller, but it's fine because it's air. Um, I could not, for the life of me, get this mount locking collar to go down. I had to have my brother come out here and help me. And we had to like literally put this thing in a vise I had to hold the rat the we had to put this in a vise I had to hold the wrench that they come with the coilover wrench and we had to hit it with the sledgehammer so it would go down because it was just it's like stuck to, it was like stuck to the shaft because of all the debris that was in it because these things are so old okay it is now dark I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see me but bag is in airline is ran Bag is in, airline is ran. 
now my next step is I'm gonna throw the wheels on, fill them with air. Hopefully I can get the jack stands out. Hopefully I can get the jack out and air it up and then I'll air it out for the first time. <laughs> 